So where are we off to now, Justin? Uh, we're going to the, the farm shop of Willow Hall. So this is where every week, once a week, I'll come along, pick up the, uh, whether it's vegetables and meat that uh, have been ordered, and also plan what's going to be coming next, either whether it's next week or next month. So who are we uh, going to say hello it's to Rob. here? Rob's been in charge of this shop for, I think, a couple of years now, and also the farm. Hi, Rob. Oh, my name's How's it going? How long have you been here now? Uh, I've been about two years. There you go, two years. Yeah. Fantastic. Shall we go and see what we've got? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. So there's, a, there's a, an order place today. There is, uh, yeah. What, what, is it Hoggett we've got today? It is Hoggett, yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, Hoggett is the one-year-old lamb. It I mean, is, yeah. Really it's, uh, it is. it's hung for an extra week. Yeah. So uh, that's a bit of extra maturation time. Exactly. Uh, it's very strong in flavour. Well, we're going to be slow cooking that. Uh, I think at first that's the best way to do it. So it's going to be slow cooked. That's going to be on the menu until the lamb comes in. Do you know when the lamb's coming in yet? The lamb will be in, in time for the bistro night. In May? Yes, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, but is there a lamb, is there a lamb in coming up? There is, yeah, there's a lamb in day on Tuesday the 10th. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Okay, well, I know we're going to come up with that. So, and so, vegetable wise, what have we got at the moment? Vegetable wise, we've got um, cauliflowers, cabbages, and rhubarb. It's all seasonal, all right. fresh to pick this morning. Is the rhub How long is the rhubarb going to be on for now? Uh, the rhubarb will be going for the next six weeks. Brilliant, okay, well again that's going to be on the menu for the rest of April in that case. Super. Do you do a crumble, Justin? Uh, the rhubarb we use, to be honest, when it's in season, we use it in a starter and a main and a dessert. So the things that are really seasonal and, and, and Yorkshire-wise, rhubarb doesn't get any more uh, local. Um, we'll put it everywhere we can. So you're, you're, it, it, this is a horrible analogy. Uh, that mixes my metaphors, but you're sucking the marrow out of Absolutely. this seasonal produce, aren't Absolutely. you? Really? So you, 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 again, you'll see that on your starting main dessert, you, and then what we'll also be doing is we'll be pickling it, and then that means we can use it in months to come. So we'll use things. So you, what you do that within Silsmith? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So we, there's two <laughs> things we do with that: we use, we pickle it, and we use it with, with cheese, and also with some savoury dishes. We also make the puree, and that goes into the cocktails. So we've got a fresh rhubarb cocktail on at the moment. So whatever is the biggest seasonal. Uh, 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 variety, we will see it across the menu, and then when it's gone, it's gone. You're, you're, you're going to need more rhubarb, Rob. <laughs> we are, yeah. Rob, so, Rob yeah. get picky. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to need more. <laughs> okay, um, great. So what we've we got? Are you, we've got some uh, meat to pick up as well, yeah, haven't we? Some uh, beautiful uh, hobbit, and you can see by the uh, colour here, it's like a deep burgundy. Red. Let's have a look at that then. Oh um, my word! Yeah, so it's it's a beautiful hobbit. Yeah, and it's got some beautiful colour. Yeah, it's got some beautiful colour. Yeah, and it's got some beautiful colour. Yeah, and it's got some Justin will know all about this and his mm. chefs. In there you can see all the marbling. That's uh, intracellular fat and that's the fat, fat you want. That's what gives it flavour. Fat on the outside, not really important. The fat on the inside melts as the meat is cooked and all that fat melts into the meat and that's what gives it its flavour. It's one of the reasons that we slow cook it. So when it's slow cooked, you really the flavour builds in and builds in. I mean, it's cooked overnight, so it's a 12 hour uh, affair. And then it's finished in the oven when it uh, goes to table uh, for service. Fantastic, okay. And why uh, the flavour is so good is because our lambs are purely grass fed. A lot of lambs commercially are fed on nuts and high protein diet pellets, uh, which isn't their natural diet and doesn't give the lamb good flavour. Right, okay, great stuff. So, hang on, is this part of the new? Part of the new menu then? Yeah, this will be. The Hoggett is just coming in now. Well, it's been in since sort of the last few weeks or so, but it'll be here for the whole of April. So we know we can put it on for many for the whole of April. And then into May, that's when the lambs, the new season's lambs will become available. Is that right, Absolutely, May? Yeah. So in May, you'll see lamb, you'll see it as a start or you'll see it as a main. You won't see it as a dessert, but you will see it. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll still yeah. see it. At least two dishes you'll see with lamb on. Because when it's here and it's at its best, let's use it. And I can't, I... When it's gone, it's gone. This is a shocking admission, but I, I've never known a menu that just is as agile as that. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, well, I mean, just, know, to, you, sorry, just to build on that point, <coughs> what's, what's brilliant about Silversmiths is that their menu is dictated by what's available yeah. here. And I've worked with other suppliers and other restaurants, and it's, it's almost the other way around. They'll ring me up and say, we've got this menu. Yeah. Have you got any cabbages? Have you got any strawberries? And they'll say, well, they're not actually in season, and then we won't hear from them again. But yeah, Justin is very agile. He's very flexible. If we suddenly have a glut, like we've got, got a glut of cauliflower, didn't have any last yeah. week, because of the hot weather, they've all just matured very, very quickly. Justin is able to react and put yeah. those on his menu straight away. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll definitely see those. There'll be a beautiful cauliflower cheese on for, for the rest of this week because of that. But it wasn't on the menu yesterday, but it is today. So, And that, for us, again, is a fantastic thing about working here. 
when it's fresh, it's at its best, it goes on the menu. Yeah. Simple, really.